Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you today how to install the 1.9 pre-release beta client and same thing for the 1.9 server. Because um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking and commenting, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all that today. The first thing you're going to need to do is go and click on your internet. I'm going to have a link to this webpage in the description below, so you can just go ahead and click on that. Scroll down, and there will be a link on the bottom that says download Minecraft 1.9 client or whatever. It's the first link. Go ahead and click save file, wait for it to download. And then what you're going to want to do is go to the search bar in the bottom left if you have Windows Vista or 7. If you don't, I'll talk about that later. Type in percent app data percent. And then click on roaming. Click on .minecraft. And click on bin. And then what you're going to do is want to drag the file you downloaded into the bin. But for me, I have to rename it because I've downloaded downloaded so many. You have to make sure it says Minecraft. I said Minecraft whatever one and it has to say Minecraft or it won't work. And then click yes. Move and replace. If you don't click that it will not work. So make sure you click that. And then that's about it. The client should work. If you have XP you're going to have to go to the bottom and click on the computer. click on computer the local C disk drive users and then your username mine's Josh I doubt yours is click on app data roaming dot minecraft and then the bin I went to the wrong place and that's the same place you read it earlier and all you gotta do is drag the file into there. Now for the server, go back to the website we were at and just download the link that says 1.9 server. Click save file. And the same thing as earlier, I have to uh, rename this because it says Minecraft server parentheses 1 and it has to just say Minecraft server. It has to say that or it will not work. And then what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do after that is make a new folder. Go ahead and down and drag the server into it. Click on the folder, and then you're gonna want to create a new text document. And I'm gonna have the code in the description below. All you gotta do is copy and paste that code into the new text document, and then that's all you have to do with that. But when you save it, you want to make sure you go to File, Save As, and you have to save it as a .bat file. You can name it whatever you want. I named mine Run.bat. You can name it whatever. It just it has to be. It has to end with .bat. Then click Save, X out of that, and then click on your .bat. Click on your .bat file, and then your server should be up and running. The only thing you gotta do now is, if your friends don't know, just all you gotta do is give them your IP address. And uh, if you don't know that, you can go into Google and type in "What's my IP?" and there'll be plenty of websites that can tell you what your IP address is. But also, if that doesn't work, you have to type in, give them your IP address, and tell them to type in colon two five five six five. That's the port Minecraft is running on your computer. And uh, sometimes it's not two five five six five. If it's not, you can scroll up. And it will show you right there. What I'm highlighting to uh, right there. If it's not two five five six five, it'll show what it is right there. But uh, that's basically it. If you guys have any more questions on how to do this kind of stuff, just let me know, and I'll think about making a video. But uh, that's about it. See you guys later.